Good morning, people watching at 65, Lisa Boyce. Uh, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, nothing else. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. We don't come to him saying, Lord, look at what I've done. It's not about what we've done. It's about what he did at the cross. He did something no one else could do. And that was take away our sins, past, present, and future, by spilling his blood on the cross of Calvary. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the gospel. Once you accept Christ as Savior, your faith is placed in the blood of Jesus. The book of Romans 10.9 says, For with the heart man believes, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. We don't come to him no other way except believing. Um, I mentioned Franklin Graham and his commercial that he's been putting out lately. That's a false doctrine. He's right about the power of the gospel. But we don't come to him turning from sin. And I'm going to tell you why. And I know that's going to shock a lot of new people. You can't. And this is why, and I, I say this every day, people do not put enough emphasis on the power of the blood and the power of the Holy Spirit. We come to Christ believing, simply believing in what he's already done for us. And we let the Holy Spirit indwell in us and change us. We don't do it on our own. That's why so many people are struggling with things that they can't. They're they're trying to control it instead of laying it down at the feet of Jesus and say, Lord, take this. And letting the Holy Spirit take it. And the Holy Spirit, I guarantee you, he will change you. The Holy Spirit leads you and guides you. The Holy Spirit speaks to you. It's the Holy Spirit. The Lord's Spirit. The Holy Spirit. That leads you and guides you into all righteousness. And it's not enough emphasis put on that. Franklin Graham's message is to turn from sin. So he's telling you to do something. You got to do something in order to be saved. The only thing that's required for salvation is believing. Believing in what Christ already did. Not in what you can do. Because outside of Christ, you can't do anything. But through Christ, you can. And that's believe in him. And that's where the Holy Spirit comes in. No one hardly mentions him. No one hardly mentions the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is alive and well. And the Holy Spirit, the moment you believe in Christ, the moment you accept him, accept Jesus as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. You are baptized with the Holy Spirit at the moment you believe in the blood of Jesus. That's how it works. I was taught for 28 years that I got to speak in tongues That I got to live right. That I have to do this and do that in order to be saved. I was highly confused because nobody ever told me what the will of God was. Nobody ever told me what it meant to be at the cross. Nobody told me anything about believing. Nobody ever told me about grace. I got baptized by water three times. Thinking that I was doing the right thing. I went down dry and confused and came up wet and confused even more. Now, am I knocking water baptism? Absolutely not. But it's not for salvation. I had a few people write me about that. No. If you want to get water baptized, you can after you get saved. But no, it's not going to keep you saved. It's not going to get you saved. You just are going to go down a dry center and come up a wet center. It's not nothing to do with salvation. Sitting in a church pew has nothing to do with salvation. Nothing to do with salvation. 
I haven't stepped foot in a brick and mortar building in years, nor do I plan on it. It's all about believing in what the blood of Jesus did. And I learned more by the Holy Spirit staying home than I did in a church pew. I'm just saying, now if you have a decent place to go, more power. Good for you. But I'm just talking about me. So, your faith lies in the blood of Jesus. Not in what somebody else tells you. You look it up for yourself. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. We're in the dispensation. I am a dispensationalist. We're in the dispensation of grace, which is quickly coming to a close. Once you are sealed, once you are saved, you are not you're sealed until the day of redemption and your rapture ready, which is going to happen any time now. Which brings me to this story, China threat. China threat increasing as Xi Jinping's army is preparing for war, says Taiwan minister. This is serious. Someone, um, one of my subscribers sent this to me and I found the article. It says foreign minister has warned China, China preparing for war. You got all these nations, all these nations are mentioned in the Bible. And all these nations are going to come against not only the United States, they're going to come against Israel. It says, foreign minister has warned China is preparing for war as the island country braces itself for future conflict. Hmm. Joseph Wu in Beijing has been trying to cut, cut off Taiwan from the world with military actions and international pressure. Beijing rewards Taiwan as a breakaway province and has threatened to start a conflict in order to reunite the island with mainland China. This is serious. Mr. Wu was asked what he believes Beijing's intentions are in the wake of an increased military drills and aggression. The minister said, I think Beijing has been preparing for war against Taiwan, and that is what we have been seeing. They are preparing for it. If you look at the number of so, uh, sorties, attacks from troops, it's, turn, it's around 2,900 times last year. So the threat has been increasing. And when we examine it in a closer way, the Chinese sometimes even cross the middle line of Taiwan Strait. Speaking to PBS reporter Nick Schur, uh, Schriffen, the minister suggested Beijing is forcing other countries to cut ties with Taiwan. He told uh, the program he believes they are also trying to cut off Taiwan from the international society, suggesting Beijing wants Taiwan out of the World Health Organization and other bodies. Mr. Wu then added, they are forcing other countries not to have an official contact with us. And moreover, Chinese are also engaging in cognitive warfare. They use cyber attack disinformation and some, something similar to disrupt the democratic process here in Taiwan to create a conflict between the government and the society or to create a distrust between Taiwan and our major ally, which is guess who? The United States. Folks, this is serious. This is why the gospel is important. Not only are you saved and sealed until the day of redemption, but you will be rapture ready. Because with all these reports coming out, like I've been saying before, it's preparing you for the rapture. The world is already prepared to receive the Antichrist. It's just getting worse and worse by the hour. I'm going to link this article in the description box. I woke up... I took a shower this morning and my upper back just went out. I had to take an Advil this morning. I'm in a lot of pain right now. But I will be back with the next video. Um, thank you for your support. And I pray that God blesses you richly. Um, 
yeah, right now I'm just in a lot of pain. <laughs> and I got a lot of stuff to do today, but I will, I will try to be back on later. I'm going to link this in the description box. Folks, it's time to get saved. It's time to get saved for real. Um, thank you.